Hi folks, in this video I'd like to give you a short update on my homemade flexi drive which I showed earlier. Now what I've done, I've actually got my foot pedal wired in which runs up through the middle of this tube and is all wired in and just to recap in case anybody's forgot what I've actually used the actual um, motor is off a, a Dyson a vacuum cleaner um, they come in around about 12 to 15 pounds now and uh, coupled to that I've got a, a simple birchwood ply um, bracket basically and this spacer actually spaces the distance between the outer cable which is this silver piece and the inner, inner cable which this um, drive unit which drives the, the center cable basically and that's just there just to hold that in place and stop this outer cable from spinning um, right so on the end of the flexi I've got the standard uh, chuck which goes from zero up to about six millimeters and I also have one of these quick release uh, hand pieces as well where you just flip the lever and pull the ends out so what I've done I've worked out because I'm driving it with the variac I've got to set the voltage up say let's say for instance up to 40 volts there but the good thing about the variac is you get an absolute true speed control so if I actually press the pedal there with my hand you get quite a fast speed and you can actually turn it right down I can do this one handed turn it right down to a very very low revolutions indeed and because there's a slight delay the drill doesn't set off really quickly and, and slide across the material so that's down to about 20 volts there so I can turn it down even lower and it's only just you can actually see it turning there so if you wanted to do something really delicate you can do whereas the standard units you can't do that so if I turn it up to 40 volts I've got a fairly quick action and you can hear it ramping down there and that's that's on 20 volts AC and it's running and purring like a little kitten actually so it's actually turned out to be rather pleasing, better than I expected. Um, so what I'll do now, I'll put the camera in the tripod and then we'll show you the control it's got over drilling. So I'm still trying out this new uh, Campar um, little mini recorder, um, which you get actually a... Uh, um, a remote control start and stop as well which is quite good so you don't have to vibrate the camera by touching it so what I'll do now I'll, I'll put the voltage up to around about 40 volts so I've got a bit of power the foot pedals on the floor and I've got a piece of silver here which is about one millimeter thick and you get really good control so, if you, so the actual best way to do it is um, so you don't slide about is just a tip that I learned if you want to drill something just make a tiny little indentation there with it. I've used a pair of compasses there just for the drill to sit in so when you've actually put that into the little indentation you've got really good control over the drill I think you can see that there and it can start stop and start really really accurately so you can so it doesn't uh, get out, out of control on you so that's basically it it's turned out to be a superb homemade machine and uh, the standard unit and the motor and everything comes to less than 30 pounds obviously there's a little bit of work to do on the bracket um, the wooden bracket which is comes to maybe a couple of couple of pounds for that and just some wire um, obviously I'm driving mine with my variac so you need a variac as well but uh, I've got the best of both worlds I can actually power up and power down almost like a little scale electrics car handpiece
the 40 volts is more than enough power for doing most jobs for polishing jobs so that's it really it's a really superb unit and uh, worth worth the wait and and uh, worth the savings is more, more than anything this is my uh, quick release handset which uh, I think they're about 12 12 pounds and you can just quick quickly flip the lever and change over the parts so another worthwhile enterprise so I'll try my remote and just see how she turns off so well, thank you all again for watching bye for now